Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to access WordPress database without cPanel from the WordPress dashboard. So let's get started. So this is our WordPress website and today we are going to access its database. So at first we need to visit google.com and here we are going to search for phpMyAdmin and we are going to click on this first link phpMyAdmin.net and we are going to install this software. So we are going to close it from here. So our software is now downloading. So as you can see that our file is now downloaded and now we are going to upload this file to our website. So we will go to our WordPress website dashboard and from here we are going to install a plugin. So we are going to hover our plugins and then click on add new. And here we are going to search for a plugin file manager. And we are going to install and activate this first plugin. So we can easily access our all the WordPress files using this plugin. So from the left menu, we are going to click on this plugin, WP File Manager. So close this from here. And here you will see all the website files. And now we are going to upload the file that we have downloaded to our computer. So from the top, I am going to click on this upload file button and then we will click select files. And here is the file that we have just downloaded. So our file is now uploading. So as you can see that our file is now uploaded to our website. So now I am going to right click on it. And after that, I am going to click on extract files from archive. And then I will select here. And then I will click on yes. So as you can see that our file is now extracted. So now I am going to right click on the zip file and delete it. After that we are going to change the name of this folder because it is too long. So I am going to right click on it. And after that I will click on rename. So I will remove this from here. And press enter. So now we will copy the link of our website. Paste it here and after that we are going to copy and paste the name of this folder. So I am going to right click on it, rename it and copy the name of this folder from here and then put slash next to our website and then put it here. Then press enter from your computer. So now we need username and password to log into our WordPress website database. But don't worry, I will show you how you can get username and password for your WordPress website database. So we will go back to our WordPress website dashboard and from the website files, we will navigate to wp-config.php file. So here it is. So I am going to right click on it and after that I am going to click on preview. So I am going to resize it from here. From here we are going to scroll down and here we will find our database username. So we are going to copy the username from here and paste it here. After that we will go back again. We will copy the password from here and paste it here. After that we are going to click on login. So as you can see that now we are successfully logged into our WordPress website database without cPanel. And now you can easily make changes to the database. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.